Yes, good. It's good evening to all. This evening, I'm building no defunct Andrew Sugar Factory in St. Joseph, the Eastern Parish of St. Joseph. This is the old Andrew's factory. It has long closed its doors since 20, 2013. Andrew Sugar Factory, the old Andrew Sugar Factory. This is one of the two remaining. This was one of the two remaining sugar factories in Barbados. Uh -oh, no close their doors. So the only one operating now is Portville in the northern parish of the northwestern parish of St. James. In Barbados. This factory was closed under the last administration, under the past government. It was closed to be converted and be configured into a multi purpose factory, but that did not come off, so the factory is no close. It is no close, so there's no. So there is so the, only, the only one factory remaining. One sugar factory remaining in Barbados, and that is Portville, which is in the northwestern parish of St. James in Barbados. Yes, because Andrew's factory is situated in the eastern parish of St. Joseph in Barbados. This road, this is the road that you will use to, when you're heading towards Bashiba or any part of the east coast of the island. Yes guys, Andrew's factory, the now defunct Andrew's factory in the parish of St. Joseph, in the eastern parish of St. Joseph in Barbados. Yeah. Yes, please. And this factory here, all the equipment taken out. And a high white fence was placed here to keep out trespassers. Yes, please. That was made to understand that this present government also has plans to close it down and not reopen it altogether. But the, it was closed to make the um, reopen as a multi purpose factory processing sugar and other things. But that apparently did not work out as planned, so it is not closed until further notice. Before this factory was closed, Butley was closed. Butley Sugar Factory in the central parish of St. George was closed in 2002 as well. That was one of the remaining sugar factories. And that too has closed their doors. Andrew's tenantry. And further up from here, you will see the paintings on the wall of the mural with animal heads. And that was sculpted by, loc by um, loc um, local residents, residents of the area, such as I think Paris Hill and so on. are the ones responsible for the sculpture on the wall and that road also takes you back to St. Anne's Church and this is all Andrew's tenantry here and this road here was the, res the road to the bookkeeper's residence 
of Andrews Plantation. Andrews Plantation is just below Andrews Factory. Here in St. John. Let's go to see what the now defunct Andrews Sugar Factory in St. Joseph, Lots Lake. Now that it's closed. Hills and all behind here is Parasol, which leads back to the St. Anne's Anglican Church. Yes, this is all Andrew's tenantry. In here, and this is the road that leads back to the bookkeeper's residence for Andrew's factory, Andrew's plantation. Sorry, said before the factory was closed to be re to be reopened as a multi-purpose factory processing sugar and other items but that did not come off so now the factory is closed and all the equipment taken out this was one of the last this was one of the last working sugar factories apart from Portville this factory only closed down in 2013 So the only working sugar factory in Barbados now is Portville in St. James, which is to the northwestern end of the island. Thanks for watching.